What? Well, you don't want to be held? Oh, you need your freedom? Huh, you do? Okay. Are you the best cat in the world? <laughs> Okay, so the babies have fed, and I'm putting back this little block piece. Well, at least I think I am. Guys, you gotta get your booties down. So see, they have the little holes here in the feeder. How you doing, buddy? So when they eat, <laughs> hi baby, let me stand up. So obviously you know that they um, feed through the little bottles that we have here on their stand, but when they're not eating, I, I, you know, when they're done, I try to take the bottles out and then hang on a minute and then I'm putting these pieces in so that if they were happen if they happen to jump in there um, which is very possible any day now um, I don't want their foot or leg to go through those holes so I block them with this those little board pieces right there so the next time I come up hopefully I'm not gonna find a baby goat tangled up in their feeding stand but with baby goats, or any goats for that matter, anything is always possible. Boop. Say hi to everybody. It's kind of dark over here. I know, all the kisses. Say hi. Kisses. Did you get your belly full? You're eating hay. Don't take my earring. Oh, you want the, uh-uh. You can't have it. You can't. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we got all the hay unloaded. The barn's cleaned up, babies are fed, everything's on the go. Guys, welcome back to the channel. We are so happy to have you here today. I hope you're having a blessed day. And I wanna thank you so much for your support. If you're a first time viewer, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you've been here a while, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel. Uh, first things first, I wanna say this. Um, I have mentioned uh, off and on for a bit, and especially over the last week or two, I think I did. Listen, if, if you have a channel on YouTube, I've been here for almost 10 years. Um, you're going to find out the hard way from time to time. The algorithm and things are, are, are going to mess with you. I understand there's other channels out there that are having issues, and I'm sorry to hear and see that. Um, I certainly know all about that myself. Um, and there's no, you know, there's different explanations for this, and I'm not going to get into the minutia. The world's on fire. So, I mean, y'all don't care if, if somebody got unsubscribed to me today or somebody got mad or, you know, if YouTube took away 300 <laughs> uh, subscribers in like 10 minutes and then gave me back 150. Y'all, I know y'all don't care about that. I mean, you really don't. But here's what I do want to say. I, you do need to be aware that it is happening. Um, if there are some channels that you really like to watch and support, always make sure that you are subscribed. You hit the bell. Give them a like. So I'm not just for me. Uh, I certainly appreciate it. It does help the channel out. Even when trolls comment and they, they you know, they like to tell you how ugly you are or something like that. Um, you know, really, that's a blessing <laughs> because... There's a silver lining with ugly trolls, I know. They don't know it, but they're really actually helping your channel. 
So, I mean, I mean, they, they may know that. They may not care. They may not know it. So, I'm just saying, if you really don't want to help a channel, you really shouldn't watch it or have anything to do with it. So, when a troll says something ugly to me, I'm like, well, thank you for boosting me today. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth. But, listen, like I said, if you're watching a channel out there and they've mentioned that they're having trouble, just, you know, if you want to help them out, just make sure you're checking in on their channel. Give them a lot. Giving them a thumbs up or, you know, whatever. Just easy, simple, quick, free things uh, will help a channel. And, and for those channels out there, I certainly understand. Hang in there. Uh, my advice is to hang in there. Don't you dare back off. You just have, it's just like any other valley. You got to walk through it, okay? Um, that's the best advice I can give on that. And I will say that I have seen a lot of you tell me, um, even today, I've had at least two or three different people say, I don't know how I'm not subscribed to your channel anymore. Or I don't get notifications anymore. This is the world that conservatives live in now. Okay. It, it really, really is. And a lot of other people too. So listen, um, I want to thank you for being here. And I want to, there's so much on my mind, but I am in a rush, unfortunately. Uh, so I'm gonna try to get to my points. Well, you might be happy about that. I gotta go down here and turn off this water for my cows and then I gotta go give my boy a haircut because he's graduating from college tonight. So first and foremost, hey, those homeschool kids, they turn out okay, okay? So if you're homeschooling or you're on the fence about it and somebody's making you feel like you can't do it, that's a lie. That's the devil telling you fibs and making you feel like you can't successfully educate your children. I've got another one here proving it. Uh, in fact, it's going on uh, in scholar, uh, academic scholarship. Uh, in January to the University of Tennessee. He's graduating tonight. I mean, can't be any prouder right now. So uh, we are just really happy for my son, Bo. And uh, and uh, we appreciate you being so kind to him also on his singing video. So that was really, really cool. Um, I went to the post office today and I got a, guys, I love you. And I actually got, I always cry. <laughs> I do. I, I'm a cry baby. Big cry baby. I got some letters today. I got so many cards and boxes. I haven't even been able to go through all of it yet. I did get a particular letter, and uh, I just want to say to you guys, there are some very wonderful, kind, yet very lonely people out there right now. And I just want you to know that if you are an individual that knows somebody that specifically, maybe they are a widow, uh, maybe they've lost a spouse, Maybe they've lost a child in the past couple of years due to various circumstances. Um, maybe they're ha they've lost their job. Um, different. Th there's so many things happening to so many people right now. It's not even funny. And I just want you to know that if you have the extra dollar to go get them, you don't even have to get them anything. It'll be something homemade. But, you know, I was just thinking of a little one or two dollar box of candy and a quick little car just to stop in and say, how are you doing? And. We want to check on you and wish you a Merry Christmas. Try to, everybody knows somebody like this one way or another. And um, I, like I said, I got a, a card today from a beautiful little gal. She did not send me her address. I don't have a ret return address. And she talked about how alone she was. Um, Ma'am, you really touched my heart today with your card. Um, and uh, I would love to send you a card back, but I don't have your address. And uh, I just want to say that your card is causing me to say this here. And it actually, I want you to take a little bit of um, happiness in this moment to know that there's probably a couple of people that are watching this video and maybe we have sparked them to do something nice for somebody in your boat. And, uh, you know, you feel alone. A lot of people feel alone right now. A lot of people feel isolated right now, have for several years. A lot of people are falling into serious hard times uh, for different reasons. And we all have to try our best to remember that. And we get wrapped up in our busyness and our worlds and preparing and doing all the things, milking our goats and all the things, you know, all the things you do, especially this time of year. But it is not just about celebrating Jesus Christ, but it is also celebrating and remembering each other. And there's a lot of evil forces now that don't want us to remember each other. On that note, I want to say this. I don't know how I'm going to title this video. I may make a separate video about this because I, I want to go do my own questions, ask questions, and I may not get the right answer, okay? I, you, know, <laughs> you never know. I have had several people write to me 
couple that I know and a couple of you all out there that have said that you've been, you've called the Dollar Tree or you've been to the Dollar Tree and that you've even asked the people there and that the Dollar Tree, which was once a dollar, everything was a dollar. Then they switched it, pulled it all up to a dollar twenty-five. Y'all remember that from about a year and a half ago or whenever. Although there's no inflation, it's all transitory. It's all lies. Um, then they started pulling in higher priced items, three and five dollar stuff. Now I'm being told uh, by multiple people. Now I have not verified this myself, so don't get get all up in arms with me here. Um, you go find out. Tell me what you find out. I'm being told by multiple people that the Dollar Tree is now going to a dollar fifty. Guys, let me say, guys, everything is going to be up. Food and a lot of resource items that are important to the average person um, is probably not going to be getting really that much cheaper. Does it mean that, inf you know, we're in the midst of all of these different financial gurus telling you, okay, now we've got, we're fearing disinflation. Now we're going to have deflation. We're going to have inflation on this, but then it's, the rates are coming down over here. Are we going to pivot? I, guys, it's a mess. It's a mess. It's a total mess. And we have to recognize that we need to keep up with all of the basics that we can. <sighs> Hope for the best. Prepare for the worst. Is a quarter a big deal today? You better bet it is. A quarter is everything now for some people. Did you hear me say that? I know a lot of you agree with that because you feel that. For those of you that are doing really well and you think that's absurd, I think you need to get out and, and, and bounce around with people right now and see the ones that have lost their jobs. What about the ones that could be losing their jobs after the first of the year? We're heading into a very, very rough year. And frankly, the predictions are all over the board. I don't see most of them as being actually really that good. But does it really matter? Does it matter? At the end of the day, no. Because we might float through slightly unscathed for the next 6 to 12 months. But what's it going to be after that? All of this that we are... Spot, we're just swirling around in a cesspool. It's disgusting. It is just gross. It, it is just disgusting. I mean, all the things that we're seeing. Are you going to send your kids to war? Did you like that? Did you see that uh, yesterday, day before yesterday? Yeah, I haven't had a chance to talk about it yet. Um, so if we don't send funds to Xanadu, uh, we're going to send your fathers, your uncles, and your sons to war. How do you like that? Have you seen all that? Isn't that... That's special, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Folks, it doesn't get any more tyrannical than that, okay? So... This is what I'm saying. If you think you're going to get a, if you think because the stock market is doing this up here and you find value in that and you think it's going to erase all the other shenanigans on the planet that are going on around you, boy, you got another thing coming. We have got to work very hard at coming together. We have got to work very hard with praying for each other. Go ahead and say, yep. I, at this point, I just say to myself, I expect things to get worse. So therefore, I'm not shocked and too angry when I go, oh, <laughs> you think you're sending my kid to war? My husband to war? Me? <laughs> oh, call the big guy first. Yeah, I'll send the Parmesan. It's a freebie on me. I want to see the fatigues on them. Oh, oh. Yeah, you heard me say all that. You're being, you are being pushed around. You are being led by the nose. You are being lied to. You are being manipulated. You are being insulted. What do you really think all of these people, all of these military age men, just walking? I'm going to New York. I'm going to, how do I pronounce it? I don't even know how to pronounce uh, I, I don't even know how to pronounce it, but I'm going there. Hi, hey, can I have $5,000 on a Visa card? Yeah. Hey, why don't we take funds that help veterans to help all these people too while we're at it? You seen that? Gosh, I wish I'd have come up with that. So this is what I'm saying. You're being used, lied to, manipulated. 
every which way that you can. So even if you are making a million dollars off the stock market today, which is only the top fat cats, um, how's it all gonna shake out in the near future? Hope you got your beanie weenies on the shelf. So for us regular folks, me and you and your mama, Guys, we gotta keep praying and we gotta keep working and we gotta recognize that we have to do the best that we can for ourselves and each other. If you don't do a whole lot for the Christmas season this year, that's up to you, I get it. Maybe you just wanna have some homemade gifts, light a candle, have a beautiful tree and eat a, a, a nice meal. I think that's wonderful. But like I said earlier, if there is a person or two that you know Maybe they don't even tell you the hard time that they're having right now for various reasons. If you have an inkling that these people are having a hard time because of the sorry times that we are in, I don't think there's anything wrong with you just taking them some homemade jelly, maybe something you've crocheted, a nice little card, maybe some homemade cookies, maybe a box of cookies from the Dollar General you get for $2.85, I don't know, whatever just to let them know that somebody cares. We need these people. And we need to let them know that God loves them too. What if it was you in those shoes today? It would be nice if somebody showed up and invited you to Christmas Day dinner, wouldn't it? Especially if you know that you're very much alone. Chew on that fat. Take action with that fat. Chew on it and go, Enough chewing, let's go do today, right? I love you guys, I appreciate you. It's gonna be a very busy weekend. I have a ton of little cooking videos I wanna do. I'm trying to get to all this. And I know you're getting ready for all the holidays too. It's just two days away. I mean, excuse me, two weeks away. Two weeks will fly just like that. I mean, like I said, my middle baby is graduating from college. I just blinked and looked up and there he was, a young man. That's how fast it moves. Like, subscribe, and share. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Click it. Click. Hit that bell. Whatever. Ring that bell, baby. Okay? And I will talk to you soon. I appreciate you guys so much. Please take care of you. I know so many of you are such sweethearts. And I love the Christmas cards. I'm going to hang every one of them up. And I love getting them and all of that. But please don't go beyond that. Do what works for you and your family and take care of you and your community. You don't have to worry about me. Okay, you don't need to send me uh, anything. You really don't. Take, take care of you and your kids and your babies. And, and I appreciate all these things, but we do not ask for money here. I do not ask for money. I currently don't have any items for sale. I'm thinking about putting together a little calendar if I can get my act together. And I've thought about making a t-shirt or two in case you wanted it. That's optional. That's up to you if you do. I don't expect it. And I don't expect you to subscribe to anything and I don't expect you to send me a dime. It's not what, that's, that's just not what we're gonna do. Love ya. Have a good weekend. We'll see you on the next video.